Hi folks, Chris Granrud here with the ICE team and also Rainy Days Guide Service. And I'm out here with uh, Brett McComas and Target Walleye and uh, we're working some big crappies. And uh, we were just talking about how we, how we work some of these big fish. And sometimes I think uh, as, as an industry, we're guilty of uh, maybe overstepping you know, some actually basic things when it comes to triggering these big fish. And I know I see it in our guide service all the time. But I'm just going to kind of cover how we work a, refit, work a finesse plastic. So typically speaking, I'm going to actually kind of snap that, that plastic up and down a little bit. And it's really, that's just going to be an attention getter. Um, if I have a fish on the screen, I'm not doing this. But the reality is, in ice fishing, we cover an 8 inch circumference of a 227,000 acre lake. So I want to try to make contact with fish and bring more fish into my area. So I'm going to snap that plastic up and down until I get a fish on the screen. And I don't have a fish, well actually I do have a fish on my screen, but um, typically when the fish comes in, then I'm gonna make that motion really, really slow. So all I'm gonna do is a tight, tight vibration. And what that's doing, it's just giving the plastic tail a little bit of kick. So I'm gonna move that tail, that's all I'm doing. And if that fish starts coming in, I'm gonna keep that exact same kind of vibration and I'm gonna start rising that up the water column because what happens is, is when a fish starts coming in, that means you're making the right movement. When you're making the right movement, the most critical mistake people make is they stop that and they do something different. If it's attracting the fish in, make sure you're doing the exact same thing. So if it's a tight motion like that, he's coming in, I'm gonna do the same thing, and I'm just gonna cat and mouse him just a little bit, rise him up the water column, because everybody likes something that's getting away. So if it's getting away, they wanna eat it. So, and then set the hook. So big jiggy motions like this, attract fish in, slight, light uh, action like this, a more of a vibration if you will, move that tail, it's coming in, rise it up the water column, and whatever motion is bringing them in, keep that exact same motion, and hopefully you'll trigger the fish. So once again, Chris Granrud with Rainy Days Guide Service and on the ice team, here with Brett McComas here in Target Walleye. Hopefully this helps you catch a few more big pan fish this winter.